Hey everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play for Tales of Zestiria. I love Tales games. You guys know that. This game just released today. I am so happy. So happy. So happy. Um, let me double check. Not that. That is not what I wanted to do. I don't need to double check my DLC. Thank you very much. I want to double check and make sure my graphic settings were all maxed out. Oh, and the controls for this game, I thought would be uh, horrendous for a uh, keyboard. Actually, really pretty good. I'm playing this on PC, if you couldn't tell. So, just throwing that out there. Alright. So, we're going to do normal difficulty. We're going to put the subtitles on. The menu shortcut will go to... Oh, I see. So, you can change what the where the shortcut takes you. That's cool. None is fine. Um, let's do fixed. I like it fixed in this game. But, like, in games like GTA, I like it to be rotated. Um... I don't know the speed, so I'll have to wait to, to see that and change that later if I need to. Um, map camera, select whether you want the camera to rotate automatically in the direction you control. Yeah, let's do that. Just to be safe. Stereo, no vibration. And then we'll leave that. You know, we'll, we'll up the voice just to be safe. And down the BGM. Sound effects one? No, we'll keep it there. Um... These are, this, these are going to be my settings for now. If I need to change them, we'll deal with it later. Yes. The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. People began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Art is so good in this game. Whoa. You've got feathers in your ears, boy. Wow. They put us in control of the characters so much faster. Okay. Basic controls. I've got some of these set up differently. Um, I believe... And I've also got some keys mapped to my Logitech G600 MMO mouse. It's got uh, 12 buttons on the side and a third like top mouse button. So I mapped things to those. Um, ooh. Can I fall off? No, damn. This is certainly a very different starting location for a Tales game. Wow. 
Oh, I thought there was a, immediately a secret. Oh, so E is my menu. Oh, it's the top menu. T is just a shortcut to one of these sub menus. Okay. Battle action. Now, normally it wouldn't be this big of a deal for me to be like, I'm confused about the controls in a Tails game. Um, but <laughs> I've never played it on PC before. So, okay, that's weird having to get out of there. Do I just press E to leave? No, because look, escape. But it was doing this whole weird thing. Uh, uh, whatever. So we can quick save, controls. Okay, just getting used to the game. This is fucking beautiful. This is... I think, personally, that the Tales games are a pinnacle. The pinnacle of JRPGs. And that's not to put other JRPGs down. I still like Dragon Quest, and I still like Final Fantasy. But Dragon Quest uh, does some, uh, some unique things every time. Final Fantasy's quality varies from game to game. Some games are really good, some games are not so good. But I think that the Tales games are almost always, for me, hit for hit after hit after hit. They're almost all always quality. They're just fantastic, fantastic games. And I am so happy that JRPGs are showing up on Steam. Japanese developers are realizing that the Western market loves these games. And, and we will also play them on PC. I like you. We still haven't heard him talk. Please don't be a silent protagonist. That's usually not a thing in Tales games, but it could be. I knew it. A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> Alright, not silent protagonist. Oh, you found a trap. About time I found it. Nothing on my end, Sore. Miklio. Looks like you beat me this time. <laughs> the textures are nice. This proves the shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. Wait, is this a Tales of Symphonia tie-in? Could be an imitation. Seriously? No way. Do you really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Because I did think that, that was the World Tree. Holy crap! Tales of Symphonia might be my most favorite Tales of Symphonia game. I played that game so many times. My one, my, one of my final play playthroughs on that game was 600 hours long. This doesn't bode well. I Wait, love Tales of Symphonia. Isn't that? I think our ruin adventure is over for today. If this is in the same world as Tales of Symphonia, I'm having a heart attack right now. Come on! Figuratively. This is way more action-oriented. Whoa! I'm following a character that we're not in one big party. That was too close. This is way more action-oriented. Please. <laughs> Oh, nope. You both need help. So happy. So happy I forgot to start a timer. Alright, well that's our mage. Up. Way more action oriented. We're more fluid, I should say. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Well, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. All right, wow. The music kicked in and... Oh. Oh! I have multiple choices for, for discussion? I never knew the ruins went this deep. 
Better leave the investigating for another time, but we need to find a way out of here. Don't investigate our way out, just find our way out. Oh, sweet! So I found Sage already? Those are usually something that we don't find till later. Ah! Uh, and that's our save point. Same, uh... Same save sound since literally Tales of Symphonia. Oh, if this is a Tales of Symphonia tie-in game... Not tie-in game, but, like, Tales of Symphonia was really good. Tales of Symphonia 2 wasn't bad. I just think that it, it could have it could have been better. Of the Tales games, that's probably, like, the least... I mean, there are Tales games that are, like, main series Tales games. And the Tales games that are not main series, they're relegated to... Uh, main series Tales games are usually called Mother or Flagship titles. Whereas the other ones are usually like side stories, like Tales of the World, for example, would be a side story. I think Tales of Symphonia 2 was originally a flagship and then got relegated down to a side Whoa. game, oh, man, even though it's a direct drop. sequel. It's been nothing but heights all day. But I still had fun with it. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Bar relief? Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? Oh, the art looks so good. Ooh. It looks like someone's lying there. It looks like she's hey, hurt. Miklio? Hmm? It's... It's a human. It can't be. Stop. Why can't it be? We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's are you guys alive. not humans? We can't just leave her there. Wait, are you not human? Are you Asgardian? Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. Oh, the fluid from from battle or not battle from the fluidness from cutscene to game is astounding. All right, so I can swing my sword outside of battle. Oh, wham! Yeah, my sword's all sticky. Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. So, Tales of Symphonia, uh, the other game I was, I was playing on my channel, Tales of Zillia, and Tales of Graces F, which is some, one that I that I played 150 hours in. The one I'm playing on my Vita right now, Tales of Hearts R, all are more mechanical games. They're a little bit slower paced. They're more, they're more classic JRPG feeling. This gives me JRPG vibes with like a little bit of western this open world. They said that this is the, this is open world. Like Tales of Symphonia was technically open world. Tales of Hearts R is technically open world. But they're trying to say that this is open world like like Tales has never been open world before. And the immediate feeling that I get from this game of just fluidness and motion is unlike any other Tales game ever that I've played. I love it. What's wrong? Shh. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I, I still like it a lot. There! Ooh, it's damn. Huge. What is this thing? Time to kick some ass. Oh, yep, there's the fluid battle system. Holy shit. Nice. Alright. Alright, so how do I do my art? How how do I do my art? Is it one in is it my number buttons? Wait, hold on. It can't be a hellion? <laughs> a hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away. Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Are you guys brothers? Hellions? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. There's that word chosen, like in Tales of Symphonia. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. 
Uh, are you saying we're not chosen? Remember you two. Common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. I also like how he just swallowed the smoke from his pipe and then it phased through the floor slightly. <laughs> Video games. We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. And we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. All right. In areas where Hellions roam, making contact with an enemy will launch battle by swinging your sword. So yeah. Oh, oh, and the battle result is right there. So I don't get an ending screen. Oh, that I, that was my favorite part. Oh, and I get grade like normal. Yes. So I don't I don't mind Tales of Zillia, Zillia's way of earning uh, grade, but I still I still prefer the old the old way of earning grade, which is by battling. Um, you get it for a lot of different things in Zillia. It's so much more fluid. I do, I do like the ending screen, like in Final Fantasy, where you get the do 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 do, and they do like their little spins, and then the menu pops up with their st what you got from the battle. I like in this game because there's a lot of witty dialogue at the end of a battle in Tales games, going far back to like the beginning. So, so that was the Hellion. Yeah, and I doubt it's the only one. We need to get out of here and qu as here as quietly and quickly as we can. But we're going to have to get out of here next time on Let's Play Tales of Zestiria. If you guys like this episode, please consider subscribing, thumbsing it up, and sending it to your friends. I would super graciously love if you did that for me. I would appreciate it very much. And subscribing is beneficial because I'm going to upload this game as much as possible. I'm going to try to make this a daily upload, which is something I don't normally do. I'll have stints of uploads where I'll, I'll upload three or four days in a row of the same game and every once I'll sprinkle in another game on top of those four days and then I'll make a ticket take a day break or two. I don't I don't tend to have a set schedule. With this, I'm debating on making this daily until Fallout 4 comes out. Fallout 4 will be daily for a week and then I'm gonna alternate between these two. Fallout 4 and Tales of Zestiria for like three or four months because those are gonna, these are gonna be long games. But remember Freaks and Geeks, play more games and I will see you next time. Have a good day.